This is Greg Chumlin, Workflow Analyst at Caslon, a company that provides accessible education, insights, and tools designed to help PODI members achieve better business results. With a workflow product briefing on the extended G7 calibration capabilities of Canon's Prisma Sync controller. There are four short videos in this product briefing. The first gives an overview of G7 and describes what Canon is doing with G7 calibration using Prisma Sync. The second demonstrates the embedded Prisma Sync G7 approach. The third demonstrates how Prisma Sync easily integrates with external G7 calibration systems and third party color management tools. And the fourth compares calibration and profiling results between the embedded G7 calibration method and an external approach. Prisma Sync is the front end rip for several models of Canon production printers, including the image press devices. Prisma Sync is highly tuned for running these Canon presses with a rather unique and effective interface for helping operators anticipate printer needs to minimize printer stoppages for media changes and tray unloads. If you're from unfamiliar with Prisma Sync, take a look at my Prisma Sync Remote Manager product briefing for more background. This briefing takes a look at how the G7 calibrator and embedded profiler within the advanced color management feature set of Prisma Sync simplifies G7 calibration and custom color profiling. These features are included in all current Prisma Sync controllers. But before we start, let's talk about G7 calibration for a minute, not as a tutorial, but as some level setting background. G7 is the set of specifications for achieving gray balance created and managed by the Idea Alliance Association. It is an industry standard used for measuring and calibrating many CMYK color systems, including digital presses, and is the basis for the Grackle and Swap color management definitions. There are three compliance levels of G7, G7 Grayscale, G7 Targeted, and G7 Color Space. G7 takes its name from the seven primary ink solids, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, red, green, blue, plus G for grayscale. G7 grayscale measures neutrals, primaries, and overprints to produce a consistent shared neutral appearance across printing systems. Establishing grayscale compliance typically involves scanning a 300 patch target, using a software package to produce G7 correction curves, and then importing them into a digital press front end. G7 targeted and G7 color space compliance levels are more stringent and often require G7 calibration be combined with full ICC color management. In most systems, this requires a lot of additional time and effort to scan 1600 or more color patches, to create ICC color profiles on top of a G7 calibration condition and to import them as the system's new output color profiles. So even though the extra effort brings additional benefits, G7 targeted and color space compliance levels are usually only sought after in applications which absolutely require additional levels of color accuracy. So the challenges printers face are that while they need to produce consistent color production across various media, media and across different presses, they often don't have the resources to make it happen. There are extensive color management training and certification courses that can provide know-how, but profiling every media for every press on a regular basis translates to a lot of time, effort, and money. Canon has come up with a way to dramatically simplify the process using Prisma Sync connected to Canon's production color presses. Their embedded G7 calibration and color profiling system is powerful, efficient, and easy to use, producing G7 grayscale and even G7 color space conformance when possible, with a simple five to 10 minute process in which users measure just 640 color patches. I think this could be a game changer in uh, color management. The next video goes into more detail on how the Canon Image Press with Prisma Sync Controller does this.